Fox Kids Monsterama continues. Boo! <laughs> Of the killer tomatoes. Attack of the killer tomatoes. From again, we tell them for each week for right for monsters of which we speak, except when he has a security leak. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, isn't it a pity? Stop these views and fruits, where will we find a brave recruit? Can we look at where? Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes! 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 Tomatoes!
give South America. Yeah, muy bueno. I will conquer with honor. Obato! You are rumored to be of Australian origin. Australia will fall to me tonight. Slithered up here from the Dark Continent, I will give you the honor of slithering back there in triumph. Ah, yes. I will strike off to subjugate, and as I do, I will... So who do I get to stomp, boss? Well, let's see. Which continent is left? North America! You got it! Splatter Rudy at ten four. to be a great deal of tomato activity originating from this sector. I wish I could see what was going on through all of this foliage. Well, 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 well I mean, well, 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 I think we should get in there. What did I tell you about using that thing so close to the stadium? Aha! The Killer Tomato Task Force, right in my own backyard! I have the Global Tomato Report. It's a bad scene. It seems the killer tomatoes have attacked various cities throughout the world. Tokyo is under siege from a savage seed spitter. Even uh, uh, New York is under siege. Is there any hope for the world? Will the Killer Tomato Task Force save the day at the end of this episode? Will Gang Green become the first cartoon mad scientist to ever conquer the world? You'll have to wait until after these commercials to find out. Yay! Hey! <laughs> at this late hour, Gang Green has launched a war on every continent. <laughs> going to be easier than I thought. <laughs> Get away from here, you criminal. You, you bugged me. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Have you heard a cartoon mad scientist say that? <laughs> the answer is 744,332 and a half times. Look, I'm even winning in Europe. Yes, friends, Gang Green is right. If something isn't done soon, he will be the first cartoon villain in the history of film who will ever actually take over the world. 
Now, doesn't that kind of make you want to root for me? <laughs> Our only hope in the world lies with the World Anti-Tomato Emergency Committee. Senoras and senores, ladies and gentlemen, when we took these jobs, we never believed that tomatoes would become a threat to mankind again. In fact, that is why we took the dead job. Because we did not think we would have to do any work again. But we were wrong, amigos. Now I put it to you. What are we going to do about this invasion? Today is a national holiday in some country. Therefore, I move that we adjourn this meeting without further ado to get on with our vacation plans. I second that motion. All in favor? I can't believe those guys just went on a vacation. And this is Whitley White, your on-the-spot reporter. <laughs> Philistine, uh, with the latest breaking news. Then we have to... Do something! Yeah, we should go on vacation too. Tomatoes! Task Force, prepare to defend yourselves! <laughs> Whitley White here with continuous updates on the tomato activity. Yes, friends, tonight on Nightvine, we'll be talking to the last of the free humans. Let's get out of here! Hmm, how unfortunate. It seems that the last bastion of resistance to me has bitten the dust. Never! know that you just deprived me of my true place in history. Just think, that could have been Finn Letter's last stand! The tomatoes are filling the streets! Who the heck is that? Call me Zoltan, tyrant of New York! Scourge of San Zucchini! Zoltan, mark my word! One day I'm going to make a pizza out of you! <laughs> the only pizza you're going to make from here on out, Finletta, is street pizza! If you think you're about to see another predictable ending where good triumphs over evil, stay tuned. Look! We're gonna land right on Gangrene's lab! Let us turn our adversity into maximum military advantage! Charge! <laughs> I have done it! I have conquered the world! Okay. My troops have taken a few countries. Okay. Uh, so, it's a real estate transaction. Carl, like we have a major problem. As a little chick says, the sky is falling. Gah. I mean, we're being attacked from above. Deal with it. I'm in too good a mood to fight. After all, I am winning a war. I am accomplishing my life's dream. Ah! Haven't we been falling for a long time? Yeah, that's to keep the suspense up as long as we can before we get to the inevitable scene where we taunt gangrene and save the day. You mean we really don't have to worry? Where are we? I don't think we know yet. Obviously, Gangrene has a devious plot plan for us. Hey, we're in Gangrene's dungeon. 
dungeon. <laughs> We're nearing the end of the show, and I am still winning. You'll never win, Gang Green. No? Watch the monitor and weep, and imagine what it will be like when I turn you into a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Igor, would you hold the TV so everybody can see it? <laughs> hold it right there, Igor. At this late hour, victory of the tomatoes over the humans is virtually assured. Humans, fight on. We will never be dominated. <laughs> Yeah! 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 I'll do that. Go. I simply don't get it. It doesn't look like we're going to win this one. As you can see, nearly every world's capital is under my control. Beef State and his crack troopers have driven Europe into submission. And that's no more. And Ketchuk has overrun Asia. Congratulations on your victory, Ketchuk. Articulate as always. Looking good, Tomacho. <laughs> as always. Modest devil, isn't he? Congratulations, Mumato. You have conquered Australia. Indeed I have. However, I will limit my savor of victory to but a few words. Indeed you will. It seems that Bang was quite successful in his conquest of Africa. Ah, yes. I doubt that our most esteemed leader, General Zoltan, can say that. That's right, Mr. Fang. This Zoltan didn't read my lips. <laughs> around you miserable soft humans <laughs> and as for you fang it seems that the heart of africa is yet to be conquered oh why cool man oh you know what i just conquered the south pole i've done it i've done it I've just become the first cartoon villain to have conquered the entire world this close to the end of the episode. Yeah! 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 yeah. I cannot believe the episode is going to end this way. It won't if I have anything to say about it. Look, I have one last plan to escape and defeat Gang Green. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but you cannot whisper on this show. If you say something, say something that everybody can hear. Okay, okay. Look, our plan is to use each of our unique skills to rescue us, just like they do in all the other shows. Mary Jo will karate chop the bricks in the cell and not to dig a hole to groundwater. When that's done, Lloyd Bridgeworth will scuba into San Zucchini with Tara disguised as a tomato. She'll pick up some clothes from the costume shop in town. That way Sam can disguise himself as a tomato biographer, thus playing on Gang Green's massive ego to get us into the lab. Meanwhile, I'll sneak around and open the chimney for you so that Uncle Wilbur can parachute down the chimney and sneak up behind Gang Green when he's bragging about his world conquest. You see, this is a pro-social show where everybody does his part for the common good and everybody's valued for his or her unique contribution. <laughs> you see, I have won! The show is almost over, their final plan has failed! I've won! I've won! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's true. This episode is over and the tomatoes have won. Make no mistake about it. This is not a two-parter. This is a one-parter. This is the end of the episode. Repeat, this is the end of the episode. And I bet you, yes, I'm talking to you, those innocent young TV viewers brought up to believe that villains never win, that we all lose in the end. Does this look like a party for a failure? I can't believe it. Gang Green's won. Never. Tomatoes may have won this day, but tomorrow, they're ketchup. Hello? 
Hey, is this Trey Brandon Davis? Yes. My name is Chris Leary from the Fox Kids Network, uh -huh. and you are the grand prize winner of the Fox Kids Play Football Craze. Oh, yes! You're going to have two of these guys playing football with you and 19 of your closest friends. John Elway, Dan Marino, Jeff Blake, or Steve Young. Hey, tell me, Trey, who gives away the coolest prizes? The Fox Kids Network.